Hey guys, Garrett here from iOS Pro today. I'm going to be unboxing the iPad Mini 6th generation today. So let's get started. Guys, so I got the iPad Mini 6th generation in the pink color. Wi-Fi only 64 gigabytes. And to open this, we just pull the tab on the side here. And this comes off like that. Now I just take the shrink wrap off here. Now we're gonna just lift up on the lid. And there's the iPad mini laying in the box right there, wrapped up in plastic. We're gonna set this aside for just a moment while we take a look around the contents. So we got the literature packet here, which contains everything from the iPad mini quick start guide, the regulatory, then the Apple stickers. I have a USB-C cable and a 20 watt power adapter. So now we just pull up on this tab and it'll, the iPad will just slide right out. And there it is. And wow, this looks really nice. The light shade of pink. When we compare that to the iPhone 6S in the same shade, close to the same shade, but it's a little bit darker than this one. And that's amazing. It looks really nice. The pink looks good on the iPad mini. And we have a bigger camera now, much larger to, for better photos. We now have an LED flash, which the previous iPad mini did not have. We now go from a rounded edge to a flat edge design. We now have Gen 2 Apple Pencil support. We go from the Lightning to USB-C connector. We now have speakers on the top and the bottom. The volume controls have moved from the side to the top. That was to make room for the Apple Pencil here. All right, so and I forgot to mention that we also have Touch ID on the power button. It looks really cool. And now it is press and hold the power button to turn the iPad on. And there we go, and I come back when it's done booting up. So I'm back and I finished setting up my iPad Mini 6. And what I can say is this device is great. Great for gaming, that's all I have to admit about it. Because I tried asphalt on the thing and it ran perfectly. Smooth, fast, no lag, no stutter, no rapid drain of power, no rapid overheating, just perfect. When I did it on the iPad Mini 5, it did everything that I just said the 6 did not do. So basically, overheating, rapid battery drain, all that. Now, I like how it supports Gen 2 and Gen 3 Apple Pencil. It really does. Really nice. And that's why they move the volume controls to the side here or onto the top of the iPad, which is kind of awkward. I'm not used to it. I'm going to have to get used to it. Really interesting. And I really like having Touch ID on the top now rather than they replace the Face ID. Really interesting technology. And the cameras are much better too. Just lets more light in. The colors are better. Everything like that. Plus the focal point. Same for the front facing camera. The focal point may be the same on the front facing camera, but the coloring, like how much color it receives in, how much lighting is much better. Less glare and everything. It's a front facing camera test on the iPad Mini 5. So as you guys see, it looks decent, but not great. A lot of noise in the background, especially on my light strip on the wall there. You guys see, it looks distorted because the lighting oh, and the colors look kind of like not the great, but still okay. Perfect camera test on the iPad mini 6th generation. As you guys can see, the colors look much better, more clear, less noise in the background, overall much better quality and colors. Like the light strip behind me, as you guys see, the light strip, there's much less distortion and all that. Easier to see each little light on the light strip. So overall, much better camera for the front facing altogether. All right, so that is the iPad Mini 6 unboxing today. So that's pretty much it for this video. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Peace out.